If you have a modern MacBook, MacBook Pro, maybe even an iMac that has an SD card slot that you don't use, today's video is for you. Right here I have the M3 Pro MacBook Pro, and one of the reasons I originally got this was because of all the ports it had, especially the SD card slot. The more I've been using this computer, the more I realize I haven't been using the SD card slot nearly as much as I thought I would. A lot of my cameras are using CF Express Type A, Type B. I have other card readers for those cameras that have SD card slots, so this hasn't been used. So right here in my Mac, I have this thing in here that looks like it would be a protector, but really what it is, is an SD card that's specifically made to not stick out of this SD card slot. And what that does is gives me extra memory. Now, although I have one terabyte of memory on this computer, there are plenty of MacBook users that have the base amount or they just need a little bit more. So what this device does from Transcend is it gives you the ability to take up that SD card slot that you're not using and give you extra memory in your computer. And again, not take up any more space. This thing doesn't stick out. As you can see right here, I have these rubber protectors that I've had on this computer ever since I purchased it. And that includes in this SD card slot right here. And what this pretty much does, it fits two purposes for me. It blocks the SD card slot so dust can't get in. And it also gives me extra memory. So this all sounds great. What are the catches? Well, Although it gives you extra memory, it isn't the quickest. You're only getting around 75 megabytes per second when it comes to the write and read speeds. So you're not getting super fast speeds, but you are having additional memory for not a huge cost. I ended up buying the 512 gigabyte on Amazon, which is around like 60, 65 bucks. They offer a one terabyte version, which is over a hundred bucks. That didn't really make much sense for me for the price breakdown. In my opinion, I think the best overall value for the price is 512 gigs. There also are smaller options, but I think 512 gigs is a good amount of extra storage on the computer. Now what I use it for, since it's not that fast, is I literally just use it for storage. So I put movies, documents, whatever I need on that drive so it just doesn't take up space on my computer. It's plug and play so you don't have to install any software, but the one thing to remember is they make a few different versions of this card depending on the model of computer you have. So I bought the model that's actually for the 2021 MacBook Pro, but the M1 MacBook Pro that came out in 2021, the M2 MacBook Pro, and the M3 MacBook Pro, they all share the same body style. So the same SD card works for all of them. But if you have a different MacBook or you're using an iMac, you are gonna wanna make sure that you get the right version of this Transcend card. Every computer has a slightly different sized SD card slot, and these are custom made so they don't stick out at all. So you wanna make sure you get the right one because if you don't, it could either be a little bit too short and not go in all the way so it won't work, or it may be a little bit too long and stick out a little bit, which kind of defeats the purpose. If you're someone who doesn't use your SD card slot, and you could use extra memory in your computer. I know it's not that fast, but it also isn't that expensive. So this is a really good alternative option. I'll put links to everything in the description below. And again, I bought this thing off of Amazon. Some of you I think are gonna love this and some of you may not see the value in this. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you got knowledge of value out of today's video, please make sure to hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell to keep up to date with the latest videos on the channel. And until next time, my name is Jeff Fagan. Thank you for joining me as always, and I will catch you in the next video.